Hello everyone, so um, I wanted to have a little bit of a conversation uh, right now um, because I have been in a bit of a slump lately reading. I don't know if you have noticed but last month I didn't read as many books as I normally do and also in terms of pages I used to read like a hundred pages a day and now it's more like 50 if, so, if any <laughs> at all. Um, so I'm getting into a little bit of a slump and I think there are several reasons for that. Uh, first of all, work has been really busy and I just, it's not only that I have a lot of work to do, but also when I come home and I'm, I'm tired and my brain is fried because uh, my job is fairly, um, it's fairly uh, brainy. So my brain is a little bit tired. Um, and also Alex has been, growing and she needs more attention now she doesn't sleep as much as she used to obviously so now she wants to be with her mom and play and go to the park and um, read books and all of those things which i love to do but of course that just leaves me less time for myself to read um, so yeah it, it, i just haven't been reading as much and I, that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think it's just circles of life that um, we go through. But I do feel a little bit um, maybe disappointed is not the right word, but um, I feel like I wanted to finish certain projects and certain things uh, by the end of the year. And I don't think it, it might not happen because at the rate I'm reading right now I don't think I am going to be able to read all the things I wanted to read um, and that's okay but it's something that I need to think about what my priorities are and what books I I want to prioritize which projects I want to prioritize um, and also the I mean I have been reading less uh, price reading I think uh, compared to last year and the previous years um, but still I have been reading some of the books because I do get into the hype and the booker is coming soon and I don't know what will be in that list but um, whatever it is on that list um, I might want to pick up some of them and I want to if I want to pick some of them up I probably want to pick them up then because then that's all the hype and the conversations were going and that's more fun than just reading it by myself. That's the whole point of booktube, right? Um, so yeah, I was thinking about, about that and if I actually am okay with that or I want to try to get out of the slump and I think personally probably it's a little bit of both. I would like to read a little bit more, but only if I have the time and the energy. I'm just thinking that maybe I don't want to scroll on my phone as much and use that time for reading instead. Um, so not necessarily um, having to make an extra effort, just change that habit of being in my phone to being reading, even though some books are on my phone as well. Maybe I will vlog a little bit and see how I go with it. Um, so in that vein, it is the 13th of July right now um, and I am I have re finished two books which I've started in the month previously, that's how good I'm doing with my reading and I am in the middle of The Body by Bill Bryson. Um, I'm in page 261 and the other one that I'm reading is The Girls of Riyadh by Raja Al Sanea. Um, which is a book that I'm reading for um, the Worried Around the World project for Saudi Arabia. Um, and I did choose these two because I didn't think they were going to be particularly heavy. And they are not. The Girls of Riyadh kind of reads a little bit like Gossip Girl. And The Body is a non-fiction, but Bill Bryson is always very like approachable. It's not overly academic or anything. Um, so that's why I chose these two books um, at the beginning of the month because I knew I was having trouble um, concentrating and reading. And even though they are working, neither of them are like creeping stories that I want to finish immediately. Um, this one obviously is not a story um, and the chapters are creeping but 
obviously when you finish one chapter it's a different topic and it's not grouping anymore and the girls of Riyadh it's um yeah it's it's interesting and i am liking it and it's not too heavy but yeah the it has a lot of very short chapters which sometimes helps but also in this case it's like kind of every chapter is back to a different character so there is not that continuity and it's it's written as i said like gossip girl style so there is someone that is writing these emails about stories of girls so at the beginning of each chapter or email we have a little bit of her life and then it goes into the life of the main characters um, and it, it kind of just it, it is a little bit less of a flow that you you know like like a very sequential story um, if that makes sense so even though I am liking that I am finding that it's not as gripping as I was hoping it to be um, so yeah we, we will see how I go with it and I am hoping to finish both books by the end of the week um, so I have four days to finish um, yeah the girls of Riyadh I'm like 40% in and this one is like I think 60 or something because uh, I am here now, but this is all like bibliography. That's the good thing about nonfiction books. So this is the part that I need to read. Um, so I think it is possible. I would have to, as I said, stop scrolling on my phone, but it is possible. So I'm going to do my best to get reading and then I will let you know how I go and maybe what I pick up next. Um, I am currently focusing a lot on um, my Read Around the World project in Middle East which a lot of countries are from there I haven't read so it's quite a big list of, of uh, countries that I want to read at the moment um, but yeah we'll see how we go and maybe I can pick up some more books later this week. So it's Saturday today um, and it has been quite the day yesterday. Um, I I woke up as always. I, I left Alex in, in the daycare and then I biked for almost an hour to go to work. I was there for half an hour before the daycare called me to pick her up. She's fine. It was a issue with uh, with the ladies that take care of, of the kids, not with Alex herself. But I had to come back, pick her up and then spend the whole day with her, which is great, but that meant that my work was not as productive. And so I had to also work once she went to sleep, uh, which is not ideal and it's not um, easy for me to read then. But I did read a lot of books yesterday, I think several of them several times. I think our favorites at the moment are Shirex and we have a plan. <laughs> I think um, this one also, what does an anteater eat? We went to the library on Monday, so it's not true I'm not reading. I have read these books at least five times each, so yeah. <laughs> um, but other than that, I have also finished uh, this morning uh, The Body by Bill Bryson. Uh, I had about 30-40 pages left yesterday and I have finished it this morning. Uh, so yeah, this this was um, this was nice. Um, it's obviously like more uh, popular science kind of thing. That's what Bill Bryson normally does. Um, and it goes, each chapter goes through like a different part or a system in your body and then it kind of explains the main findings and um, also debunks a lot of myths that are there um, which is very nice and gives you a little bit of history of how things were discovered and stuff um, so yeah it was nice I think obviously popular science doesn't have as much detail and there were many times when I could physically see that I had like one page left in a chapter and a new kind of topic within the system that he was explaining was started and I was like there is no way that you can cover all of this in one page so yeah it's it's not very detailed but it's quite comprehensive so I liked it um, and I am also like 60% or something in the way into uh, Girls of Riyadh. I also was managed to read a little bit of that uh, yesterday, um, but now is the afternoon, 
and I have just uh, put Alex for her nap and so we have a couple of hours um, but I don't think I'm going to read much because my objective of the day is to paint the garden wall thing it's quite damaged and I think uh, at some point this summer it needs to be done so I we went this morning to the hardware store and we got some paint so I think I'm going to work on that I don't know if I will be able to finish it all in two hours or we will see but I'm going to get started with that at least um, so probably I will not read a lot but I can show you a little bit of of that as well <laughs> Oh, it is Sunday night and yesterday I didn't end up reading a lot more because after painting that wall in the garden uh, Alex woke up and then we were doing stuff and then when she went to bed for the night I spent like two hours meal prepping for the week so I didn't read a lot but uh, this morning I did finish the girls of Riyadh um, and I liked it. I think once I got into the story I, I did want to follow but it just took me a long time to get into the story I think because of all those interludes of the emails that I was talking about. Uh, but yeah, I liked it. Um, I think it was fun and nothing like crazy. It's about um, very rich people so that doesn't tend to be like my cup of tea but still it was interesting enough. Um, and also in the meantime I have started two other books uh, so the first one is the, the Modern Middle East or The Making of the Modern Middle East by Jeremy Bowen um, and this is written by the um, BBC um, correspondent in the Middle East or something like that and I have only read like 25 pages of this but so far it's very um, all over the place basically. I have read two different chapters of this and each of them was in a different time, in a different country. Um, they didn't seem to be related to each other in any like sequential way that I could find so I don't know if that's all gonna be like that or he's going to find a certain rhythm or a certain thesis that he's going to be working on but so far I haven't found that and um, yeah I'm reading this because um, my friend from Iran, she bought it for me and recommended it to me. Um, but yeah, so far I'm not super impressed by this. And the other book that I have started, I'm also about 30 pages in, and it's uh, Temporary People by Deepak Unikrishnan, which I'm reading again for Read Around the World for um, United Arab Emirates and so far it doesn't seem to be very focused on the country specifically but it's about um, migrant workers that work in construction sites in the Gulf countries. Um, we have had a lot of talk about those people in uh, during the World Cup in Qatar so and this is kind of fitting with the topic. Um, it has like a touch of um, magical realism for example one of the chapter was about a, a woman that um, cured the people that fell from the scaffolding but they kind of said like she duct taped them like actual duct tape <laughs> um, so yeah that that's the kind of vibe that the book is going for and I'm really enjoying it so far um, it's not super long so hopefully I can make my way through relatively easily I don't know if it has like um, a sequential story again but it's it I like the tone so let's hope that that continues like that um, and yeah I will update you when I read a little bit more. It's right now 8 p.m. on Sunday um, and I'm really tired so I'm probably going to go to bed soon, read a little bit on bed and fall asleep with the book on my face probably. 
Um, but yeah, I, I will try to read a little bit more, I think. Um, and yeah, talk to you whenever I have read something more. Hello. So it's uh, Thursday afternoon at the moment. I'm working from home. I'm just taking a break right now. And um, yeah, I just wanted to give you an update because I haven't updated you in a long time. But I haven't been reading a lot uh, the last few days. This week has been crazy. The daycare still has issues with um, personnel because this girl um, had an accident and they cannot find enough people to cover all of her shifts. So we have to pick up Alex early and then... I have to uh, finish work after she goes to sleep, so I haven't been reading a lot. I think I have read uh, maybe like 100 pages in the last three days together. Um, and so I, I think I'm almost halfway temporary people and almost halfway through um, um, through the making of uh, the Middle East, the modern Middle East. Um, and so for temporary people, it I didn't know but it seems that it's short stories and I thought it was a story because it has like divided in three parts and like I don't know it just felt like it was going to be connected but so far it doesn't seem to be or at least I haven't found the connections um, and I'm not the biggest fan of uh, short stories I like some of them I think they are smart because they are looking at the situation mostly of Malayalam people in United Arab Emirates and the working rights or lack of uh, working rights. Um, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, I I would have preferred it to be one story, but still there are elements of it. And it, it kind of is like magical realism, science fiction realism thing, um, which makes it a little bit more poignant at, at points, and I like that. Um, and then the making of the modern Middle East, it has found a, li a little bit more focus, so it's there are two main stories that it's going through at the moment. One is um, the war in Iraq in the 90s, 80s and 90s, when Saddam Hussein came to power and then um, I think I'm going, we're going to go through the uh, American invasion and all of that as well. Um, and the other part it is focusing a lot on is Israel and Palestine. Um, and I am enjoying both things, but they are interspersed in a way that I don't understand why they are interspersed, because it's not like we are following the two places at the same time, like in the same year or something, uh, but also like it's not geographically organized either. So I'm I'm a bit confused as of why uh, this is organized this way. Um, but when I am in a chapter and it's like about one thing, then I am enjoying it. Um, I don't. Yeah, sometimes things that are said is not like my. Um, political stance on things but uh, yeah other than that overall it's it's quite interesting so yeah um, I don't think I'm going to read a lot today or tomorrow either but hopefully this weekend I can make some progress on these books uh, it's supposed to be raining the whole weekend uh, so we'll probably be at home a lot so I might read a little bit more we will see hello everyone so it's Saturday night and I'm really tired but um, yeah I, I thought I will update you guys uh, on my progress so yesterday actually I barely did any progress because um, I went out uh, with some colleagues after work so yeah I didn't have a ton of time to read the whole week this is how my weeks go that's why I don't read so much anymore um, but yeah, I have read something. So, so in the making of the modern Middle East, I'm still about halfway through. I think I've read one chapter or something. Um, and I am interested. There are some good data and stuff, but there are some things that just irk me about it. Like it, it talks about his experience as a journalist in the Middle East, like in the Iraq war, for example, when Bush um, and Blair, Tony Blair, uh, invited there. And he, he was very focused on his experience rather than the people's experience. Uh, he does obviously talk a little bit about it, but it was not 
very personal. Um, also, he includes, like, there is a map of the Middle East, and I saw this before I started the book, and I was like, well, that's weird. And then it does um, go into things like um, the revolution in Tunisia. But to me, that's not Middle East, that's North Africa. Middle East is like this part. This is North Africa. So, yeah, the title doesn't quite... I don't know. I, it's making me a bit of uncomfortable, so I guess that's also why I'm not picking it up so much. Um, but anyway, um, I'm also reading Temporary People. I think I have like 50 or 60 pages left of that, and it's now 8 p.m., so I think I might finish that one today. Um, and that one, it's very interesting. It's very experimental, so there are it's kind of like short stories, uh, but they're quite short um, and some of them are very interesting, some of them are more like one or two pages, like an impression, there, is, there was one that was just a list of all the words that are used to describe immigrants in the United Arab Emirates and how some of them are really, um, really offensive and it's mostly focused on um, Indian immigrants in the United Arab Emirates so I am assuming there are also other types of immigrants there um, like workers immigrants um, but yeah it's focusing mostly on Indian immigrants and I think that's because that's the author's experience um, but yeah it's quite interesting I'm, I'm quite liking it I thought it was going to be um, a lot less literary for some reason uh, but yeah I'm, I'm liking that one so I think I, I'm hoping to finish that one um, today um, and then I will see how long I go with this um, because as I said it's 8 p.m. and Alex is asleep and I just have to um, hang the laundry when it's done so I think it's going to be um, a little bit more easy on me today. I'm going to get it and uh, take it easy and slow. I've made some pizza so I'm going to eat that while I read and yeah I guess I will probably update you tomorrow. I don't know. I don't have any specific plans tomorrow. I think I want to go to the library and if the weather allows I wanted to paint um, more of uh, the garden shed or maybe the front door because it's also quite crusty but um, yeah, it has been raining the whole day and I don't know if that's gonna be the case tomorrow But I don't think I will do that if it's raining. So we will see um, But yeah, other than that, I don't have much planned. So I think um, I will probably be able to read quite a bit tomorrow as well, which is exciting uh, Finally <laughs> um, And yeah, I will update you when I have more updates. Hello everyone. So it's Sunday evening I just put Alex to bed uh, and I thought I will update you a little bit on uh, what I have managed to do yesterday and today. So yesterday I finished Temporary People and it was a very interesting read. It's short stories which is not my favorite so I did not enjoy it to the full potential but still I think there was a lot of value on it. There was a lot of experimental things going on, like the last chapter was just pictures. And as I said, there was a chapter that was just words to describe immigrants. Um, and you can see like the derogatory terms and all of that. Um, and some were just about immigrants. And they all had a touch of... Um, of magical realism, science fiction kind of thing. Um, and yeah, I will have liked it to be a novel, but other than that, I think it was very imaginative and um, it was uh, good at conveying the message it was trying to give. And then um, in the, mo the making of the modern Middle East, um, I am currently page 226, um, um, so I have like 100 pages left. I have been reading this mostly today um, and yeah it's there are some valuable things but I have some issues with it because um, the author is um, a reporter from the BBC and as I said the description like the the definition of Middle East in, in this book um, annoys me, but also it just kind of follows the news cycle, I guess, because that's his experience. Uh, it just follows the main events, and I would have liked a little bit more about the um, 
the people behind the everyday life, that kind of thing. Um, and this doesn't have that. This has the main key points and key moments. And it doesn't also have a ton of analysis of why these things happen or how they are affected or who could have done something different. Sometimes that there are glimpses of all these things, but it's not very prominent. Mostly it's just yeah, it, it's a little bit more in-depth news um, from the last like 50 years or something um, and it's also not like it's kind of chronological but not super chronological and it's kind of not geographical at all um, so at the moment we have arrived to the Syrian war um, and it's yeah, I mean, that's the thing, like, at the beginning it was focusing on Iraq, um, Palestine and Israel because that's where conflicts were and then it moved a little bit more towards Iran um, and Iraq again and now Syria because that's where the wars are, so that's how, like, we are following the story of all these things and I'm just, like, I'm learning things but I'm not... I, I would have preferred a different perspective on that. So, yeah, I, I just at this point I just want to finish it. Um, and as I said, I have a hundred pages left, roughly. So I don't know if it will be today or it will be tomorrow, but it's it's coming close. And then also last night I started another book. Um, I started the Bamboo Stock by Saud Al Sanosi. Um, um, this is for Kuwait, for my Read Around the World project and it follows uh, from what I have read so far, which is like 30-40 pages um, it follows a boy um, that is the, um, the, the son of a Filipino mother and a Kuwaiti uh, father and as, as far as I understand it's fairly common to have uh, Filipino mates in Kuwait and so his mom was one of them and then um, she fell in, in love with the man of the house and he kind of fell in love with her as well um, so they are they get together and they have a baby and uh, yeah, we are now starting his story because as far as I know he is now in Filipinos in Philippines but yeah it's, it's all that um, that dynamics basically um, and it's reading it has very short chapters and it's reading really fast and really easy uh, which is something I'm appreciating right now <laughs> because uh, of all the things I'm reading um, and yeah we'll see how I go with it I think it's gonna go quite fast um, so yeah I also don't know when I'm going to finish this vlog because I'm starting and finishing books um, all the time in this and I was thinking that maybe today as a Sunday would be a good time to start stop but I have I wanted to finish this one uh, before I finish the vlog so I will talk to you later and um, hopefully I will have finished this and maybe something more uh, we will see but anyway I think um, the whole idea of this vlog was to make me mm, read more because I was kind of on a slump and I haven't read, apart from this weekend, I haven't read a ton uh, during the week but I realized that's just because my life is busy um, but I have been more conscious to uh, pick up books instead of scrolling through <laughs> feeds of social media um, so that was my my objective to reduce the social media time and um, increase the reading time uh, and I think I'm achieving that so um, yeah I will update you soon when overall I think this is quite su successful so far hello everyone so it is uh, Wednesday morning and last night I did finish the making of the modern Middle East um, and as I have said throughout the blog this was okay um, I didn't like the organization of the book the bloodline or the storyline didn't make a lot of sense even if it's a non-fiction um, and the um, um, the gaze is a little bit western and the gaze is a little bit western to my liking um, and also it just follows the the news cycle so it doesn't it does not give enough 
depth in my opinion to the discussion that is having. I did like that it was at the end um, some commentary about the current situation of Palestine and Israel, which I liked. Um, but yeah, it's very journalistic and very into the news rather than anything deeper than that. Um, so overall, I did um, gain things from it, but I guess there are better books about the Middle East on there. Um, I have also read more about the bamboo stock, but I don't want to talk about it too much because I think it, this is a good place to finish the vlog. I have been reading more this past day, so I think that's what is important. Um, and uh, I hope that I will keep it up in uh, in the next weeks and months. Um, but yeah, this this just uh, started my um, my reading a little bit more, so I'm happy about that. Um, and with that, I'm going to close the video because this little person, this little person wants to, to play with stuff so bye bye